Hi, I posted this card recently on my blog and somebody asked me how I'd done it and it was just a technique that I played around with in Scan and Cut Canvas and it's this border edge here where you can see there's an edge on the outside of this piece of dark pink card but there's also some cut away here so I'm going to show you how I did it. I went into the borders and I chose this leaf border but it would probably work equally as well with this butterfly border this type of thing works better when you've got some like negative and positive space so on this butterfly border you've got some cut out but you've got some solid as well on the leaf shape you've got a little bit of cut out here and here but not much and some solid but this is the border that I use so this is what I'm going to show you how to do I'm going to resize this border to about five and a quarter inches wide so I'm just going to highlight that and type 5.25 I've got the maintain aspect ratio tick so this will alter in proportion with it and then while it's selected I'm going to duplicate it twice just so I can show you the different effects I'm going to come to the basic shapes and I'm going to choose a rectangle and this I'm going to make five and a half inches wide so it's just slightly bigger than the border which was 5.25 and then again I'm going to duplicate it twice so if we take our border just select both go to edit align center and then I'll just zoom in so you can see and if we weld this border to this rectangle just a straightforward weld edit and weld that's the effect we get and if I fill it in with color just so you can see that would be how it would cut out on a piece of card okay so that's not what I did so if I choose another rectangle and another border and this time I put the border inside and I go to edit align center and the border has to be on top so I've clicked in the middle and it's the rectangle that's selecting so I know that means that's on top at the moment so I'm going to send that to the back and hopefully this time I've got the border on top so I drag an imaginary box around both and I go to edit and this time subtract then what I effectively get here is a punch out of the border in the rectangle so again if I fill it with colour hopefully you'll see what I mean now that's not what I wanted either so what I did to make my border just going to make another duplicate of this and I'm just going to make this very very tiny and wider than my shape and I'm going to place this on top and again I'm just going to zoom in just so hopefully you can see a little bit better I'm going to make this thinner so this long thin rectangle should be the item that's on top so if I drag a box around both and select both and go to edit subtract that has now split the design down the middle for me but it's still a group so select it right click and hit divide and that will break all these pieces into individual pieces so what we want, we want the top half of the design and we want the bottom half of the, de the design. So I'm going to start up here on the top left and drag an imaginary box just to pick up the pieces that I want, which are all the pieces that are now highlighted with blue dashed lines around them. And while all these pieces are selected, I'm going to right click and hit group. 
Now I'm going to just click anywhere to deselect. So they are now one group. These are still all individual. I'm going to drag an imaginary box around the bottom half of this design now and right click and group and now that makes that a group. So this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the top half, just zoom out a little bit so you can see, move that one out of the way, drag an imaginary box around these two, go to edit align centre so they line up centrally just select my border and nudge it up with the arrows on my keyboard until I've got just a bit of an overlap here select both again edit weld now that basically gives us what we had here originally but obviously because we've cut the design in half We've got half of it welded. Now this time I'm going to bring this bit in and I'm going to line it up. Now again, this section has to be on top, this bottom section here. So if you click on the design and that's what's selected, that generally means that's on top. If you click here and the bounding box comes around here, send this big section to the back. So I'm going to drag a box around both and then this time I'm going to go to edit subtract and it should punch out this now from this whole section and it has. So if I select it and fill it with colour you'll now see that I've got the negative and the positive and that's how I came up with my border shape and then obviously I cut it and layered it up on my card but if you want to make this into the base of a card basically all that you need to do is drag out these lines so what so I'm going to do I'm going to take the colour out just so that you can see it better so I'm going to remove the fill and then I'm going to double click which highlights all the nodes and then if you wanted to make this into an actual card the base of a card with a this border edge you could just drag these out to the size that you want that's not very straight but you get the idea and that would give you the base of a card I'll just rotate this one back again so you can see so that's how I made my border and those are the three different effects depending on what you use so this is straightforward weld this one is subtracting the border from the rectangle and this one is splitting your design in half and then welding the top half to the base of your rectangle and subtracting the bottom half from the base of the rectangle. So I hope that makes sense um, and I hope you found it helpful. Try it with some of the other designs, try it with maybe images that you auto trace yourself and see how it looks with different designs. Please give the video a thumbs up if you're watching me on YouTube. Don't forget, to, sorry, don't forget to share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.